Greetings, YouTube. How is everybody doing out there today? It is Monday, the 28th, November. Can you believe it, guys? And it's 4.06 in the afternoon. It's a little chilly today, guys. Probably about, I'm going to say about 45, about 45, 50 degrees. The sun ain't been out all day. And I've just been laying around just being lazy, guys. So, I, uh, I don't do Black Friday, guys. The best deals, guys, are about a week or two before Black Friday, if, if you're into the tools. Because I go on Home Depot's website, and they got, a whole lot, they got a whole lot more better deals on their website. I'll give you, for instance, this Sawzall right here. I could have bought this Sawzall for 400 bucks, and they would have gave me a 12 amp hour battery and two 6 amp hour batteries for 400 that was the kind of deal that they had going on, guys. And you could buy uh, two 12 amp hour batteries and four 5 amp hour batteries for 600. That was a pretty good deal because one of those 12 amp hour batteries like 270 a piece. So, guys, sometimes you you gotta do your homework a little bit. Uh, there ain't really much I really wanted this year, guys. So I really didn't buy a whole lot. I did. Uh, I did like this vacuum sweeper, it's portable, so it's easier to get in your inside your car with you, so you can vacuum. Um, they do have another one there, I think it's a 12 or 16 gallon one. I'm gonna pick that up this week. It's like 70 bucks. But guys, most of their Black Friday stuff, they already had just sitting out. I mean, they might have had some kind of door busters, you know, but I don't buy into the Black Friday stuff. And with everything being up this year, guys, it, it, you know, as far as the gas price thing goes, there really wasn't, no, no, I didn't see anything that was like, oh my God, that was like a killer deal. I didn't see none of that stuff. Uh, this year, year, last year, guys, the Walt killed it. Everything that I bought last year, guys, was like a hundred bucks, like their impacts, um, their buy when we get ones and stuff. And they still had some buy when we get ones. You just had to spend a little bit more to get buy when we get ones. Same way with um, Milwaukee, they had buy when we get ones. But Milwaukee kind of got it. Kind of killed it this year. Rigid did a little bit too. Uh, Rigid, you can buy the pancake uh, air compressor and get three nail guns for 200 bucks. I thought that was a pretty decent deal because uh, I've seen them for 169 with one gun and I've seen some with uh, uh, like two guns for like 220. So everything was just all over, all over the place. All over the place this year, guys. So there really wasn't much. That Husky Four Jack that I got for 150, they had a stack of them up there for 150. And um, I tell you what, I do, guys. I constantly, I constantly look around. Whenever I'm getting ready to uh, do something, guys, I kind of look around, see what's going on out there, and uh, it kind of keeps things in the back of my head. All right, I saw it for that price again. Let me keep an eye out, see if it comes back around, because I just didn't see much out there today, guys. It's Cyber Monday. There might have been some door busters on their Cyber Monday, whatever, but that, that, all the other stuff that I want, guys, is more expensive. Like um, my welder that I got, I got a Lincoln uh, 140 welder. It welds up to 516. It takes the gas, and I have the spool gun for it, so you can weld aluminum. And um, that welder now is eight hundred dollars, guys. Eight hundred. I paid three sixty nine for it, probably about. It might have been about eight years ago, but it was an open box, and I returned it. But everything was there, and I got it for three sixty nine. And they were like four fifty nine, I think, about eight years ago. And then I saw them slowly creep up, creep up, creep up. Now they're they're eight hundred bucks. I'm like wow, because I wanted to get that one that was MIG, TIG, stick, and uh, it was eight hundred bucks last year. Now it's twelve hundred. So, so guys, I, I just not only that, guys, I, I'm running out of room in here. I'm, I'm working on building me a shed down back so I can get a lot of this stuff out of here and um, be able to store car parts and stuff down there too. Um, it's the reason why I haven't done a whole lot to my cars yet because 
there, it's kind of one of those things. If it like my Camaro, I don't want to tear my Camaro apart yet because uh, right now it's not broke, so I don't need to fix it. But I do want to upgrade the exhaust and a few other things. You know, just some standard stuff, and um, I'm just not ready yet, guys. I know the longer I wait, the more the prices are going up because the exhaust that I was going to get was like a thousand. Now I think it's seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars. So, whatever. When I'm ready, I'm ready. But some of the deals I got, guys, this here was 50 bucks. This was 100. This right here is that light. And I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. So I can get this razor knife open. Um, I think uh, Tractor Supply probably has some good deals on some things, guys. This job smart stuff. These here were all 10 bucks. Those there are 25 metal cutting blades for your uh, four inch grinder. I bought, a, I don't know, I bought about four of these. I don't have them all here. This right here, you get 30 of the cutoff wheels for um, like um, that new battery cutoff saw that they got now. Milwaukee DeWalt has one too now. Um, these right here, everything, guys, is 10 bucks. I bought like three of these. This right here is just grinding this, guys. Um, I bought two of them, ten bucks. And uh, they had a lot of this Job Smart stuff. That's like their cheaper brand that they have. They have like their tools and stuff, guys. Their tools are okay. Um, if you just need a, like, if you just need a cheap tool set, they're they're okay, guys. I mean, they're not too bad, like. The, the 10 millimeter set was like 10 bucks. Um, Allen keys and stuff were like 10 bucks. And those are just some of the tools, guys, that you might you may only use a couple times. You know, you don't have to spend like, you know, the snap on set for the 10 millimeter is like 169 bucks. I bought the Carlisle set for 35. So, but this light right here, guys, I've been waiting for this light. This light was like 120 and it was 100 bucks. So when I saw it was on sale for a hundred bucks, I was like, I'm gonna take it and uh, I'm gonna save 20 bucks. Yeah, I wasn't, I, I knew it wasn't gonna be all that good this year, guys, because of the gas prices and stuff. Even the lower's still kind of up a little bit. I usually I use a lot of those one by threes, guys. To uh, I use a lot of those one by threes to build shelves and things to do smaller stuff. This is why I got this light, guys. It's magnet on the bottom, so you can stick it there. It ain't gonna hold too good on ratchets. And then I can take this, pull my ratchets off. You can stick this thing under your hood. Let's see. Probably have to stick it something like this under your hood. And you can rotate this thing around, guys, wherever you need it. That's what I liked about it. Or you can just set it on the floor. And it probably, let's get a, little, let's get a battery on it. Probably has three modes set. I think it's 1500 watts total, guys. Wow. Two, three. All right, so it's got three settings on it. And uh, the number on that, guys, and these lights are hard to find. That was the last one that they had out of three Home Depots I went to. Even when I was, uh, before I even bought any of this stuff, guys, they didn't have very many of these lights because they're real popular lights. The number looks like it's going to be 2365-20. That's that light. I bought a, a Husky digital. Uh, and one thing about Husky stuff, guys, they come with energizer batteries. That That's pretty good. Most of them come with these batteries you never heard of. Um, I bought a Husky digital tire gauge because it goes up to uh, 150 PSI. 150 PSI. Their lights, guys, these lights are killer. 
and they're telescopic. These here are 750 lumens. These here were $18 and some change. I bought two packs. I already had another pack scattered out. These right here, you got 16 of these here for like, um, I think they were 15 bucks. And uh, I use a lot of saws off blades, especially cutting down trees. I got these at Royal King. I only got 12 of them, but the blades are different. And I think Milwaukee blades are a lot tougher than, than uh, DeWalt. And they come with the cases too. You got 12 of these, they were 20 bucks. I bought two of them. And I'll probably go back this weekend buy two more so I'll have plenty of blades. Um, this right here is 15 bucks. It's a kneeling pad. And when you get older, guys, you need stuff like this. It helps protect your knees. Then I got this light. This light was normally 120 bucks. They had it for $79. And this was the last one they had. Al3 Home Depot. I bought this one at a one Home Depot. I bought the other one at another Home Depot. Same way with these. Yeah, they had two of them left at the last Home Depot I went to. And this right here is pretty much a, it's a lantern guy. And this one here, I think this one here is the number on this one is 2361-20. And I think this one's 1500. Yeah, it's 1500. 780 and 1500 lumens. I wanted this one, guys, because it's also it's a lantern, and you can flip it where you want it. Flip it how you want it. Yeah, let's get the battery off of here. Woo! Right, bye. So, it's got one button for dimming, and it's got one button for brightness. Dim, bright, which is cool. I don't really care for the one button thing, but the two button thing is fine with me. Like I said, you want to aim it up in the air, or you want to just carry it around like a lantern. 79 bucks, guys. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Milwaukee's lights, man, they're getting a whole, whole lot better. And then um, I wanted a, I wanted a, this ain't the fuel. One of the fuels were like 220. I just wanted another sawzall, guys, because I got one electric sawzall and one DeWalt battery sawzall, and I got a 12 a 12 volt Milwaukee sawzall, the one that you hold like that. Um, it's all right, guys, but it, it don't, uh, it, it's one of those type of things you don't need a couple of cuts from it. But I think Milwaukee makes some of the best salt balls, guys. Precipitating salt, 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 whatever you want to call it. Uh, hundred bucks, can't beat it, guys. Let me grab. about and it don't have a light indicator on there but uh it is quick release I like that well I kind of like that quick release and I kind of don't because it's plastic Think. I think it's plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. I don't like that quick release, but hopefully I won't have any problems with it. Hopefully. But it's a nice saws on there. So at least I still got the indicator on the battery telling me what's going on. So guys, that's pretty much um tool hauls. Um Another thing too, um, um, let me think. Tractor Supply, they also had a big aluminum pipe wrench for 25 bucks. They had the big adjustable wrench, the huge adjustable wrench like that big. They had that for like 25 bucks. They had a pry bar 
a nice thick pry bar, kind of like uh, the one I got from um, Menards. They had that for like 30 bucks and um, big giant bolt cutters. They had them there for like, like 30 bucks. So Tractor Supply had a good deal, especially on these things right here, guys. And the, the only thing that's difference between these, guys, I tell you, um, These right here, guys, I don't know if Home Depot sells them anymore. I don't know if you can see that. These blades right here last. They got totally different feeling. This right here is, is uh, Harbor Freight. They feel totally different, guys. This thing feels solid compared to this one here. It feels kind of flimsy and light. This one here is a little bit heavier. Uh, they were selling these out. I think they were selling them out for like, I'm going to say like 50 cent, 40 cent. I bought, I bought most of them because I was like, well, you know, they probably ain't no different than the Harbor Freight ones. These here guys were killer. They work and they last a lot longer than, than uh, your other ones. And, uh, but they all work. The only thing I don't like about, about the uh, Harbor Freight ones is one, they don't last long, guys, and the, the odor they put off is it just bitter. So I'm sure the, these Job Smart ones are probably the same way. I mean, for 10 bucks, guys, you can't beat it. Even if you get a, you know, it might take you a couple to cut what you're cutting, so be it. You know, 10 bucks. 30 of them, you do the math. And uh, Harbor Freight ones, they work just good too. They just put off a lot of dust and a, a funky smell. So, so guys, the winter this year, the winter this year is probably rigid in, in Milwaukee. Um, like I said, everything I bought last year was like 130 bucks. Like I bought impacts and stuff, they're around 100 bucks. They did have an impact in a drill set for 150 bucks. That's not, and I think it came with two batteries. That's not bad, guys. That's the wall, but that, that's been their standard. That and uh, or you can buy the drill for 100 bucks. But as far as their impacts and stuff goes, guys, by themselves, they were all 130 bucks. And it's not the wall's fault, guys. Everything, whenever gas prices go up, everything goes up because you got to have trucks and, and, and trains and, and planes to move stuff around. Stuff from China don't just float over here and they grab it out of the air. Although, uh, you know, there's a lot of things going on in China right now that are very interesting right now. And we're going to see if they don't overthrow their government over there. If they do, what's Harbor Freight going to do? You know, because it's going to do a lot of disruptment over there. A lot of disruptment that's going on over there. So 2023 is not going to be a great year for a lot of people, guys. I hope it's going to be a great year for you. I'm going to try to make the best out of it, guys, because, you know, there's a lot of a lot of predictions out there, but you know what? The man upstairs is in charge, and sometimes you can have a harsh landing or you can have a soft landing. That's one thing about serving the Lord. You can get either a harsh landing or you can get a light landing, but uh, whatever happens, he's in charge of it, you know, and something always, whenever, whenever Satan does something to God's people, he has to pay you back sevenfold. I'm still waiting to get uh, reparations from Google and, and all the other uh, tech companies that, that sold my information and made billions of dollars like he did to you guys. Every time these phones, they listen to you. I don't have to shoot a video. These phones listen to you. So I'm waiting for that to happen. I, I hope the Lord gives big tech a big, big, big setback. You know, I, I wouldn't have this phone, guys, if, if I didn't do YouTube videos or I need it for business. If I didn't need it for business, guys, I wouldn't even have this phone. I wouldn't even have a YouTube channel. Well, I probably would. I'd just shoot it with a camera. But that's when I started. When I started doing it, I, I shot it with a camera. And I used to be able to upload it from my old house because we had good internet. We got our internet out here now, guys, but I still got to shoot it from my phone because it's faster. To upload it from a computer, it would take forever because the upload speed out here is not that huge. So... Well, guys, I hope this this uh, this knee pad thing right here 
Well, it's uh, 1005 978 That's the number on that. It was 15 bucks. Uh, another thing, too, uh, guys, um, and they sold out of them fast. They had nice, uh, these job smart. They had creepers for 35 bucks. The plastic ones that were like, you know, the full upper body ones. They had them for 35 bucks, guys. And everywhere I went, they were gone. As soon as people saw that, I, I guarantee you, if I would have saw I would have probably bought about four or five of them. Because they were nice. And I probably gave some away, but I'm always late to the punch bowl. Because um, I, don't, I don't do a lot of shopping online for, for um, tractor supply. We only go there to get bird feed most of the time. So... I, I really that's the only time I really go there and we probably go there at least once a month because they got some decent prices on bird feed but Home Depot Lowe's didn't really have nothing this year guys they didn't have nothing like they did last year and I did it because of the gas prices because I last year I got the 8 amp fire battery I got a 4 a, a 4 a 6 or it was a 2 4 and an 8 amp fire battery I think that's what it was I think that's what it was a two four and an eight amp hour battery i got it for like you can check my other videos out from last year i got it i think i paid 159 for it guys 149 for it something like that or one six it's between 169 and 149 guys i paid for it now it's they're 200 bucks so you know one thing that 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 stinks guys it's it's one thing if you ain't looked at something in a long time you know four or five years and you know, eventually things have to go up because things go up. But, you know, you go four or five years down the road and you see something that used to be, you know, 100 bucks, an hour, 200 bucks. You know, that, all right, it ain't no big deal. But when you watch it every month or every six months go from, you know, 400 bucks, 600 bucks, 800 bucks, 1,000 bucks, you're like, oh, man, I ain't going to pay that. So, but I, I'm a bargain hunter, guys, unless I really, really, I've told you many times, Unless I really, really need it and really, really want it. Like, I'll show you. Let me find it here real quick. This thing right here. This is DeWalt's um, oscillating cutter. Um, when this thing first came out, I'm going to say it's probably about... Man, it's, I probably had this thing close to 10 years now say 12 14 somewhere in there when this thing came out and it's brushless it came with one battery charger the bag for I think it was 220 when it came out now they give these things hard they, they give you these things away you know they're what a hundred bucks now 120 bucks or um, you can get them with a battery for 150 bucks you know that's a good deal guys but I really wanted this. That's why I bought it when I bought it instead of waiting. And I tell you what, when I, the first time I saw those those style saws, not the Walt, first time I saw them was I used to watch uh, Home Home Time again, Bob Bela and stuff. I, I love watching them shows. I don't get to see them too much uh, unless I go on YouTube. And guys, I forget about so much stuff. I can't even remember half the stuff that I, I used to do or watch. And YouTube has a lot of it on there. So, and I, I just get caught up watching this show and watching that show and watching, you know, I used to watch Flip This House and all that other stuff. But I don't watch none of that stuff hardly anymore, guys. I, I just like watching regular Joe Blows work on their car in the driveway. That stuff I pretty much watch anymore because those guys are more interesting to me than the pros. Because the pros, they got money. They got, it's like drag racing. I'd rather watch Joe Blow drag race on the street than pay whatever it costs to go to NRH, NRA, uh, NRH uh, drag racing show. Because um, the pros, they have all the sponsors and stuff. So, that you know, they can sneeze out $100,000 on an engine or whatever. Where the pro guy, you know, he might have his whole life savings in that engine. And then when it pops, then he, he's got to go back to a draw board and rebuild it again. So... It is what it is, guys. Well, guys, I hope you like this video. I hope it helps somebody. A lot of this stuff is still out there. You might even go online. It still might be online on Home Depot's website. Um, Home Depot, I, I just, 
you know, over the years, guys, I, I've, I've grown to like Lowe's better, but Lowe's is starting to get expensive. So I've been kind of gradually going back to Home Depot, but I, mo I mostly buy most of my Milwaukee tools from Home Depot most of the time. If I'm at another place, there's there's uh, Royal King sells, but Royal King don't have a huge, they don't have like a huge um, uh, bunch of tools. Home Depot's got a much better a selection than, than Royal King. But sometimes I might go to Royal King, they have something that Home Depot don't have on sale. And and then uh, Home Depot, a lot of times I catch things online and I see things coming down the road. And But um, Milwaukee Tools, I mostly get most of them from Home Depot. i seen them on eBay cheaper. I, I haven't bought nothing on eBay yet as far as the tools go, but I'm, I just... There ain't really many tools out there right now that I, I'm really wanting, guys. I am going to get me a better chainsaw because my Milwaukee chainsaw is on the fritz. I am going to get a better one of them. That is the first generation of chainsaws. Maybe the new ones are better. I don't know. We'll see. That's why I tell a lot of people never buy the first generation because you usually got to work out all the bugs in them. All that we that worked for us in the lab, but it didn't work for us on the street. So we got to go back and change that up. And sometimes they'll recall it. Sometimes they won't if it ain't dangerous. You know, it's just many things, many things out there, guys. So, well, I hope you like this, guys. If, uh, like, share, subscribe. Share to your social media if you don't care. Um, there really wasn't a whole lot of, uh, there really wasn't nothing out there. I can really say, oh, man, that was like the best deal or a killer deal. It's all average stuff, guys. So, you know, I, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I know I did. Um, I, I got a lot of rest. I didn't have to work to, I worked like nine hours Saturday, between Saturday or Friday and Saturday. I only had to work like nine hours. And I just, I'm, I'm relaxing. It's starting to get winter time and I'm starting to slow down at work. But I'm, I got to try to get this shed up. I want to get this shed up, man, before spring. I got most, most of my lumber for the footing. Now I just gotta get uh I gotta get them get all my posts set and uh, come up with a game plan and I gotta clean all that stuff out back there so I can get my shed up because I gotta have a shed I like to get it done before spring give me something to work on all winter so we'll see how it all plays out guys it's just it's too wet out there today for me to get out there and mess with anything and you know it's it's really not real warm out there and it's almost dark. With it, not, with the sun not being out today, it's almost dark. So, well, guys, if I see anything else, I'll shoot a video. If not, hope y'all have continue have a great week. Hope Christmas is coming. I hope y'all get everything you want for Christmas. And uh, I hope you know, even twenty twenty three, it's not going to be a great year. But it, that don't mean everybody's going to have a bad year. I hope you had the best year of your life. You know, one of the things that I do in my life, guys, whenever I you got to have a vision. Without a vision, a man perishes. The problem is I have too many visions. And, you know, some of the stuff that I have here, guys, I work for it. I got everything the honest way by working for it, saving money to buy it and everything. And I'm not bragging to nobody because I've said before in many of my other videos, guys, braggadocious people.